The latest software update for the iPhone is here and this is iOS 17.4. It's currently in developer beta and we are now on beta 4 and these are all the new features and changes that you need to know. By the way, it was released to both public and developer beta testers today. The update size for me on my device as you can see here came in at exactly 696.7 megabytes. The build number we now have on file ends with the B and this is two steps in the positive direction from the previous one. One of the changes that's here has to do with battery and now when you go to battery health and charging you get to see the new status indicator that has been updated instead of showing a percentage now it shows you a status and if you click on the status it shows you all about the warranty and for some reason with this update Apple is saying that 8% equals to about 1000 charge cycles while here on Apple's own website about batteries they actually mentioned that 80% equals to about 500 charge cycles for other iPhones and for new iPhone 15 Pros this is about 1000 among a few updated applications we have Apple Maps and CarPlay that now integrates in different instrument clutters for different selected vehicles. When downloading an application for the first time on the App Store, you see a new pop-up screen and this now shows which medium or device this app is going to be working on and downloaded on. For the App Store, we also get updates to third-party app stores that are going to be supported in the European Union coming up very soon. Unfortunately, with this update, we still have an issue when it comes to live activities that are no longer in the dynamic island still. When it comes to airdrop it does fix some issues that users were experiencing when sharing devices to their older devices i actually didn't anticipate that we would see a beta 4 but what this means is that now the next release might be a release candidate on the 27th and then the official version of this ios 17.4 might officially come out on march 4th 